Hey miners, Mining King here. Today, we're gonna be checking out this rig I bought used on OfferUp. And I kinda of wanna show you guys that you guys can talk people down and you don't have to take their price that they initially post. Now this 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 gentleman here, he wanted, um, he wasn't very knowledgeable about this stuff. He, uh, his buddy wasn't either, cause look, he's powering these risers with SATA, which is a big no-no. Um, as well as, I mean, look, the motherboard's just sitting on the metal frame here, which surprisingly is not, did not short out this motherboard, I'm surprised. So there's a lot of things, a lot of airs here, as well as <laughs> you could watch this frame. <laughs> this is a homemade frame. It's really not tight, <laughs> but um, I'm gonna be getting a new frame for it. But in this, in this video, um, cause you could look how bad this dust is in here. They did not take care of this at all. He bought it used, he said. I'm assuming from his buddy, and it is just terrible. Um, they, I did verify that they all turn on, and they do hash. Um, I'm surprised they don't get a little bit hotter than what they are for this, but I'm sure I can get some better performance out of this, you know, once I clean all this up here. So, and then here's the motherboard here. So as you can see, these, this rig is extremely dirty. Um, so this gentleman wanted $4,300 was his orig original asking price, which is just ludicrous for six 1070 GPUs. So I made him offer of $1,500 initially, and I ended up giving him $100 more. So um, I'm into it, 1,600 bucks. So in this video, I will be doing a teardown of this rig and i'm going to tear down all the gpus disassemble all of them i'm going to repaste i'm going to clean them thoroughly with rubbing alcohol so this this rig i'm not going to mine ethereum with this rig i'm actually going to mine flux so this will be my flux mining rig because the 1070s do pretty well on flux um so yeah so the first thing i need to do is is i need to disassemble uh, and get all of these gpus out of this particular frame and uh i'm going to get my my air duster right here and dust them in my garage uh because i don't want to do it in my house because these are really gross um so yeah stay tuned okay guys i got the frame disassembled or everything out of the frame so here's our frame and as i was undoing zip ties dude this thing is just this thing is literally just, <laughs> it's, it's put together with um, self-tapping screws. And he even used self-tapping screws to hold in the GPUs right here. Now, I just want to get some better close-ups here because, I mean, look at this. This stuff is also, I think they were smokers or something because this stuff is really kind of tacky a little bit. So it's going to be really hard to clean this a little bit. Um, I might take off this shroud right here because as you can see the fan in there is just everything in there is just kind of is terrible and I don't like that. This is the motherboard and it's not, it's not even that old. This is a, a Z270 MSI. Uh, the Z, what is this? Oh, the Z270A Pro. Um, and I mean, look at this. They had this board like sitting in there kind of cockeyed and you could just look at, look at the flex in the middle from being and they had look they had standoffs but there was nothing to stand it off to i'm just really surprised that the motherboard didn't short out or anything like that so yeah these are the screws that everything was even the gpus were held with these self-tapping uh, sheet metal screws <clears throat> and then i haven't decided yet if i want i want to clean these and just reuse them to maybe save some money or i could use um I have a spare, I always keep a spare pack, which means I'd have to buy a new pack, but I have a six pack of uh, AAA Wave um, brand new 10 cap risers in here. So not sure. I also have some of these spares, PCIe, because it's safer instead of using a SATA to PCIe. This is, this can only handle maybe 50 watts. Um, this is not what you want to power your risers with. You never want to power your risers with one of these. This is a no-no. You cause a fire this way. 
I don't know why companies did this in the beginning, but they did. So all these, all these right here, these SATA to PCIe connectors, these are all going in the garbage. But here are all the GPUs, and actually he kept all the uh, the plugs on here, so that's kind of nice. So, but if we get a closer look in here because we can actually get a nice angle. You can see just how much dust is in that thing. It, these are bad, so there is a tremendous amount of dirt. It's just kind of probably take me hours to clean this. So you know that these were mined on pretty good um, because you could see all this staining right here. And what this is, these this is oils bleeding through the board from the um, from the pads. So they have memory, they have pads in here and the pads will bleed through. They make this kind of oily residue. I mean, it's not gonna hurt it, but I, I'm almost thinking about maybe repatting these. I haven't decided yet. And I mean, I mean, on this one here, look, he even torqued it. Look, I mean, this is bent for whatever reason. Like, I don't know, like what happened on this one. Maybe this one got hit, not sure, but it turns on and it has to, so it works. Um, these are, these used to be the cards back in the day, these EVGA 1070s. So, um, yeah, we're gonna get them all disassembled. Um, I'll have a, I'm, I'm not gonna show me disassembling each and everything here because it's literally, it would be like a three hour long video probably. So I'll show you some important parts and things you need to pay attention to. So, um, so this would be a good, I'm gonna do, I'll show you one and how to disassemble it and then how to clean it so you guys can follow along.